it's it's sad because it's almost a, a pride yeah. issue. Like, but I could I could, I could probably do it better. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, this next one's kind of funny because we've actually done it before. Uh, <laughs> but a question comes to us from Weird Gamer, from Weird Game Collectors from Mars says, if you would restart your YouTube channel, what kind of things would you do different and why? This is interesting, like we said, because we experienced that. Uh, we had Retro Liberty before and um, it was a tough time in my personal life and it was uh, the refresh button. You guys ever had one of those days where you're like, I just need a refresh. Like how do I, is there a refresh button like do over, like a restart, restart button on my life or you know, whatever, uh, but I did that. So um, restarting it, Ricky, I'll go from your end. Put it aside of what we've done or whatever. How do you feel about where we're at now, or do you like it, or do you think we should have changed some things on Pixel Game Squad, or do you like where it's at now? You tell me from your perspective. I mean, the truth is, I love the way the show is. I mean, it's us. It's literally what we are. We're not changing anything for anyone. It's like, hey, let's just keep it original. We're not trying to pretend to do something. We're just doing what we love. And just catching it on camera, it's like, it's like when I watch American Pickers. I love watching it. They like, feel like they have a I'm sense like, of like, that's what they love. I love that, man, man that's so good. And when I watch, when I watch us, it's like, that's what it is. It's just a couple of guys that love video games and toys and yeah, I, that's it. dude, I love Passions. It. Yeah. But rules, I guess we did set into place the first time around, which we still put into place this time, is we've always been big on like no cursing, yeah. no like super foul jokes. Yes, we make some jokes about like being brown and the white man, like, you know, <laughs> in a funny lighthearted way, but uh, no like sexual type of like humor because I feel like it really sets. We've always agreed on, we, on not necessarily being like, let's be rated G, but we've always been like, hey, we want people like us who have kids who can hit play and go and not worry about, oh shoot, Billy just, little Billy just walked in the room. You know, it's like, <laughs> cover your ears, cover your ears, you know. It, and honestly, when we first started, those compliments were like the best things. Like you'd see like a, a comment oh, at the bottom, you're like, thank you guys. And it's like, what? why is this guy saying thank you? It's like, I can actually watch this show with my wife and kids and not have to worry about anything. I'm like, oh. Thanks. I'm like, those really are some of the best comments. Uh, I, it made me feel good. I'm like, dude, this is, that's pretty cool. I think because we relate so much. <laughs> like, I've, I've turned on many YouTubers, not, not in a negative way, you know, but guys I like, where I'm like, oh, I love this, but I can't play it out loud right now. I can't do it if my kid walks in. I don't want my kid to hear this. I don't want my kid to see this type of joke. You know, even guys like ABGM, the obvious, like, amazing channel who is doing amazing. But it's like, I can't let my kid, you know, watch this. And I'm sure even he, think, I doubt he has his children watching his own stuff. Maybe he does, though. No judgment. Maybe. Or maybe a little judgment. <laughs> um, I think personally for me, the only thing I would have done a little different or maybe even, and I'm starting to kind of lean in a, a little bit, especially with these squad casts, um, is allowing myself to trust other people to edit and kind of do some things. Because when you're like a creator or like a creative type, it's like, you're always like, and I'm sure you have things like that too, whether it's like building something in your house where you're like, I know you could help me, but like, let me do it. Like, it's it's sad because it's almost a, a pride yeah. issue. Like, but I could, I could, I could probably do it better. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. And I know with these, even though Mikey's not necessarily even editing them because they're like podcast type show, even for me to just give him that and be like, <gasps> is like, honestly, like stressful. And he doesn't even have to edit anything. He's really just putting up the saturation a little bit and putting like two lower thirds and moving on. But even that, like he knows when he was editing, he was sending me things like, bro, I know you're crazy. Like, is this okay? The funny thing is he had one edit to do and he spelled it wrong. <laughs> but don't worry, we fixed it. I texted him like, Mikey, you had one job. No, but yeah, that, that, that one's for me personally. Should I had Gabo spell check. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> do you think we're doing this the right way or do you think we've done this the wrong way, restarting our channel, which is about collecting. Uh, setting like a budget and a time limit for ourselves like when we film how much money we spend your thoughts It's good because before we were doing this. It was way too much time. When I know was it the retro Liberty. Yes the early days It put it this way. We were going out Saturday Sunday Saturday Sunday every how single long did weekend we keep that up? We kept that up for almost three years. I think At you I don't think people really it doesn't like hit the magnitude of 
filming every single weekend when you have kids and full-time jobs and editing and Ricky was doing comments at the time, replying to every comment. And dude, this guy, every time, like, it'd be even hard for us to hang out because he'd be editing yeah. most of the time. And I'm like, dude, this is, it's starting to turn into a lot. And it, it took a toll on us. I mean, we loved it, but eventually over time, it just yeah pounds you down. And Another thing that I would say now that you say that, that I might think maybe I should have done differently even to this day is when we used to do the NES Pursuits, I was less of a professional editor at that point than I did end up becoming a professional editor by trade. Um, I was doing the videos a little less like production quality and more like kind of like the expansion packs. But now with the NES Pursuits, because they're on Amazon Prime in like different states now, it's not actually not even in the United States right now. It got pulled for some <laughs> silly reason. But we're up, we're back up now in like other countries. It's oh, nice. kind of different, but like even that, there's like a different standard. Like you can't like say subscribe. You can't say you can't hold the, the camera certain ways. You can't like talk about follow me and this and that. So there has to be a level of production value and narration, and that does take extra time. And sometimes I watch those old pursuits, and I'm like, <laughs> I wish I could do it that way again. Like you know, because that this is what the production stuff takes time, man. Dude, Ricky sees it. I see it. Our yeah. first set edit was the best, though. I literally did it on and, your couch. Yeah, on my, on my couch. Well, how long did it take? Like an hour. <laughs> yeah, edit, so upload, awesome. thumbnail, everything. I was like, <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Throw it up. <laughs> Me and Mikey have a funny joke. Throw it up is our way of saying, like, screw it. Who cares? <laughs> we do that all the time. Like, even when we filmed the, the squad cast last week with Mikey, yeah. we got done recording. I'm like, just throw it up. <laughs> Like, who cares? I don't need to watch it or edit it. Just go. Uh, another point, let's see. Find a healthy way to manage family, media, work, and life. What do you think about, do you think you're at a good balance to where, like, it's not like what we just talked about? Like, do you think right now where you're at is a good way of managing, like, your family? We have a bigger family now, obviously. Lately, yes. Yeah, but, yeah. But, like, even, like, last year when we start filming again i think when we like fully got back into the pursuits we went in a little bit too we heavy bit too heavy yeah we were, we were doing the high production pursuits but every other week yeah if it was expansion packs it's different but doing yeah. like the real pursuits every week got a little but it was also hard because we were like so excited yeah because dude it, expansions don't take us anything like to film we're just I'm like oh you're, you're going to GameStop real quick sure we live two minutes from each other it's like i'll be over and we just film with the phone oh, what up i'm here but store. yeah but camera, we're trying to get as much in there as we can. Yeah. So we're filming yeah. a ton. And at the end, we're still doing the narration. <laughs> I, that's That's been hard. For me, I think the biggest thing about managing like media, well, the biggest change for me restarting was managing media differently. Um, when I had like the whole reset button hit on my life, most people don't know this, they watch. I haven't been on social media. July 4th was two and a half years. So I haven't seen Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter in over two and a half years. Everything you guys see is my content. I take videos, I vlog myself, and I text Mikey what to put. Because for me, a lot of the things that I think were really unhealthy for me mentally was staring at Facebook and seeing what people are saying and staring at Instagram. And I, I would find myself being one of those dads where I'm at a park and my kids are playing, I'm like this, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, go, yeah, go play on the swings. But now I'm like, let's go play on the swings. I'll play with you. You know, for me, and I'm not saying that's for everybody, but for me, managing media and, and trusting Mikey, like, all right, dude, post whatever you want. I'll also send you videos. You know, you guys, I'm sure, see, you know, videos of me where it's me, and I'm like, hey, look, I'm here doing this. And that is me. It's just I don't have to deal with, I haven't had any apps installed on my phone in two and a half years. And I don't have to deal with that lingering, like, ding, you got enough like <laughs> but and, and Mikey knows you know Mikey knows the community and he talks to you guys and he does an awesome job uh, Mikey needs to be shown more love for yeah everything. he does a lot of work for this without Mikey honestly I don't think the squad would be possible because I even the content that I give him for YouTube like he's uploading and doing like real Google searches on like good tags to use and marketing and Amazon and translating and I'm just like I'll give you the content Here's that. And Ricky's just like the guy who spends the money and the good looks on the channel. Money, yes. Just the money. Ricky's rich. <laughs> Ricky has a high paying job. Uh, 
true story. I do not have a job. <laughs> Just got laid off. Like today? Uh, Is today your official tomorrow, last? Tomorrow's officially my last day. He didn't do anything wrong. Just got laid off. We just, it's the contractor life, bro. You Once you run out of work. Yep. So it. everything we just said about finding a healthy balance, we're not going to do it because now you have a lot of free time. But see, it's like, I'm still happy. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And see, like we talked about in a different squad cast, man, you got to find the positives in life. And we even had that conversation and people have been like, man, Ricky seems really happy even though he got laid off. And again, <laughs> You can find ways to be happy in life, you know. You get to spend more time with your wife and kids while you're looking for work, you know. I went to Knott's today. It was fun. <laughs> wow. See, not Disneyland. People are fighting out there. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Disneyland kind of guy, to be honest. I love Knott's. I was... Dude. I love Western. Yeah, the Western. Look at his mustache. Come on. He's supposed to be at Knott's Berry Farm. Did it curl? It curled. Nice. <laughs>